Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom AutoCAD icon, just like the ones you see here in my ribbon. I'm using three different programs for this tutorial. AutoCAD of course, the Windows Snipping Tool, and a graphics program called Paint.net. Paint.net is available from the Windows Store for less than $10 I think. You can use any program you want of course, just make sure it can save files in PNG format. I like Paint.net for a few different reasons. It's definitely not a replacement for more expensive programs like Photoshop, but it's inexpensive, easy to use, and it has all the features I need for creating simple graphics. I really like the layer system in the program as well, it's very easy to use. You could use the paint programs that come with Windows, but it's going to be way harder to create nice looking icons in a reasonable amount of time using those. Whichever graphics program you use, you have to make sure that that program can save in PNG format, and the program you use should allow you to create transparent backgrounds. Icons look way better with transparent backgrounds. Prior to AutoCAD 2017, you would use BMP files for icons, and a specific shade of grey would automatically show up as transparent. For AutoCAD 2017 and later, the standard, standard image icon file was switched to PNG files. As you probably noticed, I had already created some 3D geometry when I first started this video. I sometimes do this when I'm creating an icon that's intended to represent a 3D object. This gives me something to trace over in paint.net. I also have a way to use the actual line work without having the trace. I'll show you how to do that later in this tutorial. I've used the AutoCAD command flatshot. The flatshot command basically converts 3D objects into 2D line work. I'm doing, doing this so that I can set my line work to a thickness that will work well in our graphics program. I use the pedit command to first convert all the lines to polylines, and then I play around the, with the thickness using the same command. After I find a thickness that I'm happy with, I start tidying up the line work, and then I use the Windows snipping tool to create a screen clip. You don't have to save the screen clip to your hard drive, just go to edit and copy. I'll put this on my clipboard for now, and I'm going to paste it into paint.net after. Now I'm finally ready to start creating the actual icon image file. The first step here is to create a new file that is 128 by 128 pixels. The final icon will be 32 by 32 pixels. That's AutoCAD standard large icon size. The standard small icon size is 16 by 16 pixels. I'm using 128 by 128 for my working drawing because I need some room to work. But I, I don't want this file to be so large that our icon will drastically change in appearance when we shrink it down. Hopefully our screen clip is still on our clipboard. The easiest thing to do here is to paste it onto a new layer. You'll probably have to resize the image. This should be easy in most graphics programs. I'm now going to invert the colors on the image. My line work is now black and my background is now white. Next I use the wand tool. Most graphics programs will have a tool, a tool like this or something similar. Paint.net has a global setting, meaning if I click anywhere in the white space, it selects all of those regions on my active layer. I just delete them all at once, and now I'm only left with my black line work. This is a really good trick to save time. I can use the line work as is, of course. It doesn't look quite perfect. But since the icons are really small anyways, it'll be much harder to notice any of the little imperfections compared to say working on something much larger. Remember that we're shrinking this down to 32 by 32 pixels. I still might trace over the line work anyways if I think it'll improve the icon's overall appearance, and it doesn't take much time. You've probably noticed that I've sped the video up for much of the graphics design portion of this video. If you're curious, it normally takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to create a decent looking icon. I think that's a bit too much time to include in, in my typical videos. I try to keep these videos to under 10 minutes. 
The main reason for making this video is to show you the process of making an icon, and then show you how to import it into AutoCAD. This video wasn't intended to be a graphics design tutorial, and I'm by, by no means a graphics artist. If there's any interest, however, I'd be more than happy to post a detailed video of myself making an icon in Paint.net, complete with step-by-step -step commentary. Okay, so I'm finally finished drawing the icon, and now we're ready to shrink it down. I usually save a backup co copy before resizing. My backup copy will be saved in Paint.net's own native file format. After resizing it, I save the file as a PNG file. I think AutoCAD still supports BMP files, but the more modern PNG file gives us the ability to have a transparent background, of course. We eventually want to save our PNG file in your AutoCAD's custom icon location directory. To find this directory, go into your AutoCAD options. You can get there by typing options at the command prompt. Click on the files tab. It should be the far left tab right next to, to the display tab. Find custom icon location under the customization files heading. That directory is where AutoCAD will default to looking for all of your custom icons. I was having an odd problem with Paint.net not allowing me to save directly into my custom icon location directory. To work around this, all I did was copy my PNG file in Windows Explorer and man manually pasted it into that directory. This might be some sort of glitch with Paint.net, or maybe because AutoCAD was running in the background. Either way, if you run into the same problem, at least you have one possible solution for it. I'm going to skip ahead here and go straight to the customizable user interface, or CUI for short. In this video, I don't really go into anything about the CUI, other than how to add a custom icon image to a command. If you need additional help using the CUI, you can check out the other videos on my channel, or just ask me a question in the comments below. Loading the icon is pretty simple provided we've already saved it as a PNG file in AutoCAD's custom icon location. I've already created a custom command here. All I do is find that command in my command list, and then edit the image in the command's properties. You'll notice that I can specify a different image for big and small icons. Sometimes your large size icon looks just fine. Other times, not so much. It usually depends on how complex the icon is. I've already made a separate small icon in this case. Simpler is better, and that applies to both large and small icons, but even more for the small icons. The small icon I've made here, it might even be a little too detailed for a 16 by 16 pixel icon. I've also set up a custom macro for these buttons. If you're curious on how to set up something like this, you can check out the other videos on my channel. Or just ask me a question in the comments below. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, then definitely check out some of the other videos on my channel. And check back in the future as I'll be uploading more new videos.